Hello, Lisa. Nice to see you. And rise, all my peeps. Welcome, everybody. All righty, let's get this show on the road here. Hello everyone, and welcome to Tuesday Facebook Live with the Wexford Stamper. I am Barb Reed, the Wexford Stamper, and I am here today to start a brand new series for Halloween. And who doesn't love Halloween, right? I know it's sticky hot outside and it feel, surely doesn't feel like Halloween. But hey, if you're going to make some Halloween treats and things, you need to get started now. So I picked out a few products from the new August to December 2020 mini catalog. And I made a, a series of treat boxes. And today I'm going to show you how to make this treat box. And this one has a little belly band that just slides right off. And then in this one, we have a little bit of trail mix. So no candy, but trail mix is good as well. I will have many with candy as well, so don't worry. But this one probably could hold a lot of different things. You could put a bunch of um, fun size treats of candy in here. And they would a lot would fit in here. I, I feel like this size is about the size of like a cassette tape. Y'all remember getting your little cassette tapes in those plastic boxes? This is about the size of a cassette tape holder. So just to give you an idea of the size of the box. Um, I went to Sam's Club and I got this trail mix um, snack pack set. I thought it was a great choice. There's 24 little packs in here. So I can make 24 boxes and I'm going to try to get these made for all of my trick-or-treating friends that will be coming um, in a while. So I don't have, I'm not in a big hurry to get them done, but um, I wanted to get them out to you so you guys can make some plans for some crafting before the holiday. All right, so what I will show you now is inside the catalog. I'm going to be working with some products from this suite. It's called Magic In This Night. And this is a really cute um, Halloween set. And I love the colors. They always pick such beautiful colors. And these are the colors Pretty Peacock, um, Blackberry Bliss, Cajun Craze, and Basic Black. These are the colors from this suite. And I love them. I think they're really great. Now, for today, we are going to be using some of the paper from the Magic In This Night Designer Series paper stack. And I'm going to be using this stamp set here. There's actually two stamp sets in the suite. Um, and I'm going to be using this stamp set called Ghoulish Goodies. Aren't they cute? And today we're going to be specifically using this little Dracula um, silhouette and the Good to the Last Bite sentiment. So real quick and easy box to make, um, but I wanted to show you in the catalog where those are. And now I will show you the stamp set itself. It is a cling set and it has some really, really cute um, sentiments and images. And I've used all of these and I'll show you at the end um, some of the other boxes that I make, but we're gonna focus on our Dracula box here. And so I'm going to use this guy here and I'm going to be using good to the last bite. Of course, bite Dracula. I get it. I get it. It wasn't lost on me. All right. And then we're also going to be using some of the paper from Magic in this night. Super cool paper. I'm using ones that has little spiders on it. This one here. We've got this beautiful black with the bats. 
And there's actually some black paper that you could use for a non-Halloween, these beautiful flowers. And then let's see some other pieces. Here are the spiders. This is the back, the diamonds, but beautiful, lovely, lovely paper. And the terracotta tile is one of the colors. And here's one of the papers with the terracotta tile, some nice black stripes. And then we got some patterns that kind of have little spider webs inside of them. And then here's another just plain floral. So there's lots of great paper in here. Oh yeah, this is a good one here too. This one. I don't know if I showed you that bat one with the white bats. Really pretty. And then there's a terracotta of the spider web. So lots of great paper in this stack that you can make Halloween or non-Halloween um, items with. Hi, Joanne. Nice to see you. Did you get this paper? Oh, good. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. All right. This is our box. So I will be going through... You write, um, letting you know the dimensions and everything, but don't worry, you don't have to write them down. I will make sure they're on my blog by the end of the week, and you will be ready to go, Joanne, when you get your paper. Are you going to make treats or cards with those, Joanne? All right, so we're going to start with a piece of Blackberry Bliss. That's the color of this paper here. Love this. Great color, and this paper size is six inches by nine inches six by nine. All right, I'm going to grab my scoring um, tool and I'm going to go up here on the short side. That's the six inch side. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to score on, at three quarters inch on both sides. So I turn it over and then I do three quarters on this side. Now the reason I flip it is I think it gives you an accu more accurate measurement if you do both from the same point. Instead of doing the three quarters here and then doing three quarters from this end, I just find that if you do three quarters from the same spot, then you're gonna have a more equal measurement. But that's just me. All right, then the long side, we're going to score at one and a half, two and one fourth, five and, oops, five and one fourth, and six. All right, that's all the scoring we have for today. Pretty easy to put together box. Oh, you're going to be doing both. Well, I'm going to give you some real good treat box ideas this week. All right, so here's our piece, and I'm going to bring in um, the template I made. And we're going to go ahead and cut our paper so it is just like our template. So I'm going to get my stamp and snips and get started. Now you're going to notice that two of the panels are about the same size. Well, not about the same size, the same size. And then you have a shorter panel at the top. That's going to be the flap that flaps over on your box. Like here, I take off my belly band. This is the short panel right here. Okay, so that is the top flap of your box. Oops, and let's put our belly band on right side up. That would be helpful. And then so what you're going to do is you're going to turn this over and we're going to work on this shorter panel first. And what you're going to do is you're going to cut all the way up that first vertical score line through the first score line horizontal to the second horizontal score line. Okay, then I'm going to cut it off at the first horizontal score line. And then this is going to be a flap. Okay. And that flap is going to be one of the flaps that flaps in over your treat, okay? So you wanna have flaps there because that gives the um, box a little more body and it holds together better and doesn't sag. And you know what we say about saggy paper. We don't like anything that sags. All right, so let's go ahead and do the exact same thing from the other side. We're going to cut up through two horizontal score lines and then cut off at the first horizontal score line. Then we're going to cut our little wedges off. All right, so there is our lid. But before we start on the next part, we're gonna bring in my punch here. And I'm going to round these edges. Just like to do that. I think it gives it a nicer finished look. Okay, don't have to do that. But 
ever since I got this punch, I feel like I have to do it now, okay? You just line it in there and then you get your little rounded edge. It's really simple. All right, now let's work on the rest of the card. I'm sorry, the rest of the box. And what we're going to do, let's turn it this way. We're going to go up to the first horizontal and I'm gonna cut in, all right? Then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. First horizontal and cut in. Then I'm gonna flap this flap down that we cut the slit and I'm going to make this flap go up and down just like this one up here. Okay, do the same thing over here. I'm gonna fold back that one piece. I'm gonna cut up there and then make the flap. Now the reason we're doing the flap a little different than we have in other boxes, I found out a trick listening to some other demonstrators that when you put this box together, the flap is gonna be along the bottom adhered instead of adhered to the side. Because when you hear them to the side, sometimes when you're putting in something in your box, it gets caught on that little flap. So this way it'll never do that. So I thought that was a really neat trick. And I'll show you a little more once we put it together. All right, well, that is it. That's all the cutting and scoring you need to do. Now we're gonna go ahead and bring in our pieces of designer series paper. Okay, you're gonna have two like this. This is size is four and a quarter by two and three quarters. And we're gonna put one on the front and the back of the box, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Tombow and I'm gonna put some on the back of this piece. Now this is the back of the box that I'm putting this one on right here. That's the back. All right, see so you're gonna have this is gonna fold forward and then this is gonna come up. All right, so we put that one first on the back. And the reason I tell you that is because if you put it this has a bit of a direction, so you wanna make sure your paper is going in the right direction. So let's go ahead and score all our score lines before we get too much farther along, because that really does help the box come together nicely. There we go. So we have one more large section to put on. Hi, Cassandra, nice to see you. Thank you for joining. All right, so now we have everything has been creased, ready to go. So we have the piece on the back of the box. Now the front of the box comes up this way. So we wanna make sure that our spiders are going the right way. All right, so you're, you'll notice that they're gonna go the opposite way of this one, okay? So they'll look upside down, but it's because it's on the front of the box and the other's on the back, so. Just kind of fold your box around and get an idea where it's going and then you'll know which way to, to adhere it. There we go. All right, so then the last thing we have to do here is put a piece here on my flap, okay? And this piece is four and a quarter by one and a quarter. And I'm going to go ahead and use my corner rounder and round my corners on this because it's gonna be going right on top of the, the flap on the front of the box that has rounded corners. See, there we go, it fits perfectly that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to put some glue on the back of this and that will go right on there. All right, so now we can put our box together. So what you're gonna wanna do is these center, these two flaps up here do not get glued, okay? These are the flaps that are gonna open and close when you open the flap of the top of the box. These two get glue, all right? So I'm gonna take my Tombow, or you can take whatever adhesive of your choice. Seal Plus would be a good, good idea, tear and tape, all right? Then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to bring up the back of the box and bring this in and then these are going to glue right to the bottom panel of the box. 
just like always, you're gonna bring the flap in and you wanna line up the panel of the box and with the fold. Okay, now I'm gonna hold it this way so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. The paper's so dark. Okay, and then I'm gonna see how I'm gluing it to the bottom instead of the side of the box. Then when we put in our bag of goodies, they won't get caught on that little tab when you're taking them in or out of the box. Okay, that's just a trick I've just learned and I like that trick. Okay, so there we go. They're right in there and they're adhered to the bottom of the box. Hope you can see that. They are, that Blackberry Bliss is awfully dark cardstock. Now, last thing we need to do is on the front panel, we're going to put some Tombow on these outside flaps okay and since it's the front of the box it's going to close and then the front of the box is going to have these nice clean folds okay so you're just going to pinch these along the side make sure they're right up against the back as well and you can see that those are pointed toward the back so you have a nice, clean, folded paper along the front, okay? You might have to, depending on how your tabs got cut, you might need to do a little bit of snipping at the bottom if there's a little bit of the tabs that are showing. Okay, let me grab a, a bag of goodies. I'm gonna go ahead and put that right inside, and then I'm gonna close using these flaps, and then the box flap comes down over the front. And that's it. Okay, now let me show you how to make our cute little embellishment on the front. Okay, what I did is I took some Whisper White cardstock and my two inch circle, and I punched out a two inch circle. And I'm gonna grab my two colors here. We're gonna be using Granny Apple Green and Blackberry Bliss. I also used my cutting and embossing machine and made a scallop circle that's just a slightly bigger than my two inch circle. And now I'm ready to go ahead and do my stamping. Okay, what I did is I stamped the fun little Dracula image using the granny apple green okay so i'm gonna i'm trying to remember if i stamped off first no okay i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna take my dracula and put him right in the center of my circle there he is okay and then we're done with granny apple green granny apple green is a fun color and Stampin' Up! always puts it, uh, has it as um, a coordinating color in their um, Halloween. And I just love how that works out and how pretty that is. I like Granny Apple Green any time of the year, but it really looks cute at Halloween. Then I took my Blackberry Bliss and my Good to the Last Bite and I stamped it right over my Dracula. And there it is, good to the last bite. Now, as you know, I'm not a fan of plain white paper. And I like to fill that in with some kind of interest, something interesting. So I, again, this is another new technique that I love. I'm gonna take my blend. This is the Light Blackberry Bliss pen and I'm gonna take off the end by the brush tip, and I'm gonna stick the brush inside the corner of the cap, just not very far in, just a little bit off from the tip, and I'm gonna kind of flick the ink onto my little Dracula guy, just to give it a little more crazy spookiness. So there, how's that look? Okay, so I put a little bit of splatters in there. And now I'm gonna grab my Tombow 
and I'm going to go ahead and adhere this to our scallop circle in granny apple green. And there comes the sun again, in and out today. All right, so there we have it. There is our um, embellishment for the front. So all we have left to do is the belly band, okay? And you're gonna grab a piece of the Blackberry Bliss. That's it, Blackberry Bliss. That is one inch by eight and a half inches. You're gonna start it in the back, just like this, and you kind of fold it around your box, all right? So I'm gonna start here, and I know it has to fold here and here. Okay, and this one, the same thing, here and here. Okay, then I'm gonna take it off the box. I'm gonna go back, and I'm gonna use my bone folder, and I'm going to really crease these folds that I made really well. So this belly band's gonna know exactly. Yes, you'd love it for the treats and the tags. It's just adorable, adorable set. Yes, all right, so now we've got our four little creases and the belly band will come together very easily. But I, I find that is easier to do rather than give score lines because everybody's box is a little bit different sized. It's not exact. So if you just kind of figure it out by using what, whatever your dimensions are and fold the belly band around and then take it off and um, crease those lines. Now, the reason I'm bringing it around this way and we have the line here in the front is because we're gonna just put our our um, embellishment right on the top and we won't see that that um, crease there or the where the paper comes together okay all right so let's go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and take a little more of the glue and I'm gonna put just a tiny bit underneath here and then I'm gonna bring the belly band together you don't want it to be super, super tight. You want to be the kids to be able to um, slide it on and off, or the adults. And But you don't want it to be too loose either. So that's why it's best to kind of do the fold around yourself rather than go with a um, dimension for scoring. All right, it's good. Let's leave it. Now, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to add our little element here on the front. And the way I do that is I'm going to take three of these and I'm going to just line them up right across, straight down from top to bottom. And I'm going to take this off my backings. And then that's going to go right on the front. You're going to try to get that right in the middle on your box. And there you have it. There's your box. Yep, it is part of the suite. There's actually two bundles in that suite, Lisa. So they're starting to do that with the bundles. They have more than one bundle, I mean with the suites. Um, more than one bundle in the suite. So this is one of them. Let me get my, my um, catalog back. Where did I put that? Here it is. Okay, let me show you what I mean. I think I know what I mean. <laughs> it's one of those kind, huh? All right, I had it back here. but Okay, here we go. All right, so magic in this night suite, okay? So one of the bundles is this set here, Hallowed Nights Bundle, Magic Bundle, and that comes with these two, this stamp set and that um, set of dies. Then we have on the back here, oh, now you're right, see? I should listen to Miss Lisa. Yeah, you're right, Lisa. Okay, so it is not part of it, okay? So it's a separate, okay? It's $22, and that's the one I picked up. I think I might have picked this one up because Dory got the other. So I'm sure she's going to do some projects with the other one as well. But you can always substitute these little bats for what I put on the front. So I think you can use it interchangeably. All right, let me show you some of the other ones I made. This is another one I made using some of this, this, this sentiment, 
this is this it's not a trick it's just a treat and then they had these cute little um spiders that came with it and then my last one here this is in the terracotta tile i love this color and this one there was a little witch and i stamped over it the ghoulish goodies kind of like i did here and i did a little bit of the splattering there so those are my three um that i made from the set using um, the three different coordinating colors all right so that is my project for today i hope you enjoyed the project tune in on thursday and it's going to be cat day i'm going to grab these three here this is another little goodie treat holder i made and i made it in all three of the colors we have the black the Blackberry Bliss and the Terracotta Tile. And this one, I love the little cat, of course, and I used a little red gem for his collar. And then when you open it up, this is one that uses the mini treat bags and you can put in some goodies that way. I can show you how you adhere the mini treat bag to the inside of the um, treat holder and it holds a lot of stuff. So, these are what I'll be showing you on Thursday. So tune back in on Thursday. And remember, by the end of the week, all these projects with their dimensions and with the video tutorials will be on my blog. So thanks for joining out there, guys. And we will see you again on Thursday. Bye-bye.